Hello, good evening to you all. This is me, Amechi AK, one of the many voices talking about TBC around the world. When I say one of the many voices, not among those who are grudgingly talking about it, but we are excitedly talking about TBC because TBC has really given us our voices for us to speak, for us to talk, for us to really convincingly help those out. Side, those are still having some doubts to know that what we are doing is something real. But sometimes those who are yet to understand us do get things wrong, but that is not many really disturbing us anyway. So I remain myself, I'm H -E AK, speaking from a boy state, and uh, this afternoon I have to welcome you all because I'll be addressing the community at large, and I have to be a bit blunt because sometimes in order to get my message really passed out the way it should be i may not have to look at anybody's face but at the same time respectfully if what i say touches you wrongly please just know that i am trying to help us all to understand what we have at hand <clears throat> okay i'm just trying to help each and every one of us to know that we are not playing with this great opportunity tbc is something very huge and we need to understand it that way so Oh, I have this very idea that just came to me some time ago, and I really big point that. He said, don't feel bad if after selling a great opportunity to someone and a person fails to, to, to act on it, you've done your best to sell a good opportunity such as TBC to somebody, and that person is not doing anything about the victim and just busy complaining. No, you don't need to feel bad, okay? You've really done your job. The rest is left for that person. If he, he or she really avail himself to the resources whereby he can really stand up to get things going. So if you ever tend to feel that way, I just remember to help you reason on what this very area say that it is similar to giving birth to a child who refuses to follow with all the instructions that you go about trying to help him or her, trying to inculcate in the little child and he continues to say no. At the end of the day, when he or she means the point in life, he will come back to you and ask, that's asking you, Dad, why did you do this? But you as dad or you as a parent, you must have spent your time, must have given your all, must have given your best to make the child grow up. So, we need to get things right in TBC community. And the moment we get things right in TBC community, that is when we see that, after all, we are not playing. That is when we see that, after all, we know what we are talking about. Am I making sense? I believe so. So, welcome you once again to this very broadcasting, to this very video that I have to air it, I have to say just the way it is. And for those of you, who are listening to me and those who are yet to listen to me please open your ear and try to pick some points from what i'm saying okay i stand to be corrected but nonetheless i just want you to know up front that tbc is one of the best opportunity that has come to mind ever come to mind okay so we go I kept on looking for and searching for. <laughs> when I say this, something not on that time. Okay, let me say it again. I say I have kept on looking for and searching for the old faces or the pioneer members in the community until I realized that a project with a lasting value doesn't work that way. Any project with lasting value doesn't work that way. What way do I mean? That most of those who started it at the initial stage sometimes are not always there to run it up due to several new reasons. So, um, when you embark on an enormous project that will stand the test of time, be sure that it must be decorated with all sorts of materials in forms of experiences. It must be decorated and painted in different colors. Uh -huh. So what I'm saying is this. When this house, for instance, is being built, I can remember those days. This happened and that happened. And 
so on and so forth. And as time goes on, you notice that the stories may take another shape. That while we're busy doing this and doing that, uh, one thing led to the other. One thing led to the other, and that and that, due to one reason or the other, this person left. And you know what I'm trying to say. That's just a fact. But so what I'm saying that it's not a must that every person that laid the foundation of a building should be the one to finish it up. It's not a must, even though it happens, but it's not always the case. And in TBC, we will know that something like that applies or something like that happens. We shouldn't be surprised, okay? Because some issues would arise and need for changes, you know, issues. Yes, that would happen. It does happen, irrespective of some different factors that we may not know. Oh, this person who started is very experienced, this worker, this, that, this, that, but the moment whoever that person may be is not working in line with the project, it's not working in line with the original foundation, there could be some needs to be changed or for, for changes, so to say. So, I believe that we are following in what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to, you know, go deeper into what most of us are into what we are seeing in community. So as that, you don't need to give up. As a person before, I used to see some great motivators who inspired me greatly into this community. Yeah, there are also those who danced for the excitement brought to them by TBC. They danced because. They were working TBC that time and they were really seeing it. But at the time when they sit or they stop working TBC and expect something different, TBC being what it is, a straightforward opportunity. Oh, you cannot be doing opposite and expecting something like that. So I've seen most of those people who danced and sang the praise of TBC. We excitedly talked about it and do so many other things. But where are they now? Sorry to say. Quite unfortunate. They are nowhere to be found again. Go to the video archive in TBC. Most of their videos, or even their videos, have been, it's no longer in nowhere to be found again. Why? Because they started, and along the line, they wanted TBC to bend for their direction, but TBC is not ready to bend for anybody. So, uh, looking at all these. Can I do this? Should that be a surprise? Would it be surprising to us that yes, there was a time we were seeing some people and there were this and there were that, but we are no longer seeing them. Should that be a surprise? Anyway, let me answer two questions. Let me give two answers to two answers to that one question. Yes and no. Yes, in the sense that. As humans, whenever we see something that is going on, whenever we see something that is, whenever we see something that is making us happy, something that makes us feel good, as humans, we want it to remain in that way. We want it to ever just remain continuously in that way. But that's not always the way. So why I say no on the other side of it is that life in reality doesn't work in that way so in all of this i stand to be disputed i stand to be questioned i stand to be confronted that i say that it's not a must that those who start something will be the one to finish it up it is happening in tbc but do you know one thing that we should appreciate for most of those people who were seen before but are no longer there? They lay the foundation for TBC in a way. It's true. The admin came up with this very idea. Some worked, truth, and worked with him or her. Okay? They believed in the project and they were busy making sure that everything worked. But along the line, something came up. I'm not private, but when I look at some certain things and see what is happening, I will be able to say this is actually what. May be the wrong, or this could actually what happened, even though I'm not there. 
Saul suddenly got distracted. They got distracted in the sense that they were looking for title in TBC community. And the TBC had been being wise, knows that any reasonable person working in a firm, somebody who is serious with what he or she is doing, is not after title. Titles are just things that the poor ones used to deceive themselves. Oh, especially here, let's say in this African country or this part of the world, Nigeria, you can say, ah, the chief, honorable, Mr. This, Barrister that. And when you convince people that they are highly placed, you know, they are too big because of the big name, because of the big titles given to them. When that titled man sees what he's supposed to do and gets something out of you and make it when we look at ah, how can me a chief, how can me barrister, how can me this or me that, how this, you have allowed that title to, dis, to, to confuse you. You have allowed that title to take over your senses of responsibility. You have allowed that title to deny you of doing what you could have done to get things going. You have allowed that title to blind your eyes to the truth of what you're supposed to do. In TBC community, title is not the issue. We are building a very big community and most of those people started newly, though they did their work in a way. Let me say, they laid the foundation. Many people come along and when we, what have we seen in the community now? We have been seeing that it is growing even more and more. It is growing. The days of chaotic behavior and all whatnot is no longer there. So what we are seeing here is that the community is growing and you can't just stop it. Most of those people who angrily left, the sincere ones are now coming back. Oh, we made a mistake. We were thinking that this thing is like this. Yeah, you were thinking because you are not in admin's mind. Admin know what he or she is doing. And for the fact that you claim that you understood what he's doing and came on board, at a point you discovered that, oh, it's like this thing is not like what I thought it was. And you left. Why is TBC? Why didn't TBC close out because you, you left? Because it was never you. Uh, passion, it was never your dream. So, TBC were there when you came in. And when you decide to go, you are not, you are too small to carry TBC away with you. You are too small to do that. So, this is a big project. I mean, himself said that he's building something that will outlast him, something that will be here, something that will stand the test of time. So, if we are building something of that huge, of such big, I don't think any riffraff or whatever, sorry if I use the strong word, any individual could put off the fire of TBC. It's not just possible. If you can't get to doing it the right way, you leave. And when you leave, TBC continues to remain strong as it is. Another area that I also want to hit on is this. Another problem in the community is that many have refused to grow. Many Tibetans, sorry to say, they have refused to grow. When I say this, what I have in mind is that those who come into TBC filled with wrong expectations or those who were blindly brought into the community. Those who were blindly brought into the community by those with sweet tongues. Hey, come into TBC within two or three months. You are going to go into your bank and start cashing and start doing this and start. In fact, money will no longer be your problem. In fact, things will. It all happens. Yes. Yes. We, 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 we saw it. We witnessed it. It's just that someone like me was never brought in that, in, in that same way. I could have jumped there, this is, but I took my time. I took my time to study 
try to know what TBC is all about, how does it work, and as time goes on, one thing that has kept me going in the community is that this is something that has never been tried before. And when you are going, getting involved with something like that, be ready for changes. Be ready to make amends. Be ready to follow through with instructions. We were told that TBC is a new concept entirely. And it's not that we were just to. I'm saying it, and I saw it, that this is a new concept. And being a new concept, we are humans. We, we, there's, there, there's limit to what we can see or what we can foresee as humans, you know? So as being something of that nature, as you go, you try to adjust, okay? If it is something that has been done before or there, there is a reference point to TBC, you might be, okay, don't do it this way, look at the way you are going to project it. But TBC is not something like that. The admin has seen that this is the way to go. And while moving on that very direction, notice that there's going to be a problem, like the issue of when they were talking about uh, banking or no banking, but this is an abundance-based currency. And we are not ready for the bank. If we fail to go to the bank, okay, we are to start exchanging something that never depreciates in value with something or to something that depreciates in value. Does it really make sense? So, so many people who just got involved, eh, you are going to do, but when they notice that it's no longer that way, but the, that the concept will not carry and actually work in that direction, some angrily left. Some refused to grow. Some were busy, even as I'm talking now, hey, TBC is very, but can we listen to ourselves even for a moment? Can we see the, the, the path that the financial world is going? Can we see the input of cryptocurrencies? If cryptocurrencies is not a scam, will big firms like Facebook and the rest. I'm every day talking about cryptocurrencies, World Bank being advised, you know, all those things. If cryptocurrency is scam, would there be would there be this much talk about it? So people need to listen to themselves and reason. So, if they would allow themselves to think, they would have looked around for those people who brought them falsely or lyingly who brought them into the opportunity, into TBC. Where are they? They are nowhere to be found. They have shown that they are the scams and not TBC. If TBC is, is a scam, scam doesn't last this long. So they have proven, in essence, that they are the ones who are scam, who are scammers. They can come, they, they come and go. They come and go. So let them know that we are doing something right here in the community. And most of those people who claim that they know it all, those 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 fraudulent divisions, so to say, I have to be blunt in this area. Most of them don't even know how to carry out transaction verification. Why? Because they don't know it. They don't know anything. They are all they are just after is how they can quickly grab people's money and up they go. For folks, if you are among those people who are thinking and saying that TBC is a scam, I will encourage you to please think outside or think out of the out of the box. For the fact that you are not readily spending your TBC because you are not working it. You're not doing anything about it. People don't know that things are changing. Technology has come, make, come to make things better. Technology is now shifting, buying and selling into smartphone, into digital format and things like that. But people are still waiting. Some people are still thinking 1930s and want to carry it on to this 21st century. For goodness sake, how does that and that work? Like Mr. Bonda used to say that about 80% of TBC community don't even know why, what they are here for. So let us open our eyes. Let us try to get things right. Let us embrace TBC and make ourselves available to be taught. Let us learn. Let us avail ourselves to read the blog and follow with instructions, attend meetings, and do everything necessary because the TBC you are seeing today. It is not going down, it is going up, and it's getting better day by day.
Thank you for paying attention. This is me, Meiji. The next one we talk, remain blessed.